Here is Damani Mella. Support from Williams. Nice piece of play. Williams, the gap's opened up. He's going to go all the way through it. And the chance was there for him to find the bottom corner. And he'll be so disappointed because, as the cliche goes, he did all the hard work. Fantastic piece of play. And you do get the feeling that, really, the deadlock should have been broken. And towards Alanga. And Galbraith will strike it. Wow. And that was venomous and was well fielded by Luca Ashby Hammond. Injury there for Ramazani. United to carry on here with Levitt. Galbraith, oh, and it's all kicking off off the ball here. I'm not sure what sparked this, whether it was the tackle on Ramazani initially. And it will be a yellow card to Taylor Crosstell. And was it Garner, I think, there, perhaps? No, it was Brandon Williams. Or was it Brandon Williams? Yeah. Oh, Ramazani oh. caught with a real lunge there. And Manchester United's players are not happy, and it's a red card. He's taken quite a few hits in the last 10 minutes or so, but that was the worst of the lot. And Jaden Mundell Smith, the captain, will watch the rest of this game from the sidelines. Yeah. Galbraith, forward for Ramazani. Needs some movement, needs some options. It's Mark Helm who's arriving. Just couldn't quite get the purchase on it, he wanted to. Fabulous cross. Really good cross from Lajie Ramazani, a great run as well, lung-busting run. And to stand that ball up to the back post where he could see Mark Helm arriving, was really unlucky. Ramazani. This time he has a few more to aim at in the middle, but he might go on his own. He does, it's Levy, it's lovely! And it might well be a winner in the nick of time. Finally, Fulham have broken down. And Dylan Levitt manages to sweep it home. Well, he was the architect of Fulham going down to ten men with his dribbling ability. We've seen it again there from Ladi Ramazani. They're absolutely afraid to go anywhere near him. Comes inside one and then outside the other. And has the presence of mind to be able to just look up. Whereas I've been critical on a couple of other occasions in this game where he hasn't released the ball at quite the correct time. He did it absolutely perfectly there. That old clash of shin pads and then Brandon Williams was high and was needless really with the challenge. And he's going to go, second yellow and a red card for Brandon Williams, which is a real shame, it was an unnecessary challenge and he knew it the minute he'd done it. Yeah. So, ten against ten. I wonder if that could change things, this is Abraham. Trying to get the contact, oh, he's given it! He's given a penalty! Well, there's absolutely no doubt that Abraham was looking for it. And Anthony Alanga tried to distance himself, but the referee points to the spot. It's never a penalty. I'm sorry, but it's never a penalty. Well, this looked like Manchester United's game. It looked like Manchester United's three points. What next? A save! Mate Koba to the rescue! He is still to be beaten in the Manchester United goal this season. And Manchester United may be still to be beaten as a result of this save. Uh, brilliant save. I'm going to reserve, I'm going to reserve the right to, to speak until at least the whistle's gone or we've cleared it. Matty Kovart, what a terrific save. When, like you said, Dave, he's not been called upon to do anything for the vast majority of that half. And you feel like that might well be a big win. A match which had its dull moments, but it sprung into life at times as well.